Hey, Glover, just how does it feel to be on fight week for this fight with Tiago? You know, third time's a charm here. Amazing, man. You know, I'm just glad to be here. And, uh, you know, it's been a long camp, long uh, uh, waiting for this fight. And uh, finally here, I'm very happy. Yeah, and of course, you're not a super young guy anymore. When you talk about the long camp, what kind of adjustments do you have to make to make sure you came into this fight week fresh still? What are you talking about? <laughs> Grandfather say I'm really young. Now, uh, the camp is amazing, man. I'm adjusting to the camp and the way, um, you know, re- listening to my body and a lot of help from uh, 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 the PI. The UFC is at a different level now. Uh, all the help they can, they've been giving us, and uh, it's just been an amazing camp. Glad to hear it. And obviously, you know, I need to kind of talk about the elephant in the room. A lot of people thought this was going to be a title eliminator just until this past Saturday when UFC announced that uh, Israel Adesanya was going to be going up to 205. How did you feel about that news and kind of maybe taking a little bit of the steam off what this fight means for the division? You know, man, I uh, I'm focused on uh, things that I can control. Focus on the right and uh, the present moment right now. And uh, uh, you know, fight is like three days away, so um, not really care what's going on um, over there. Not that I don't really care. Like you know, really, it's like uh, it's out of my control. So um, as a fan, I'm gonna watch the fight. Uh, the Sire and uh, Blokovic, but uh, you know, it's not it's not something in my control. You know? And you mentioned things that are within your control. We kind of asked Tiago the same questions earlier, and he said that you know, the UFC hasn't made this fight 100% official, contracts aren't signed. He feels he can go in there and deliver a performance that would sway the momentum for a title shot back. Do you feel the same way? Something within your control, putting on a performance that maybe gets that conversation back on your side. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's everything's possible, you know, so we got to focus on the, the fight and, uh, you know, and with, with the title fight, uh, we see what happens, man. Yes, yeah, so the, the great performance uh, could be uh, right there in a in the, uh, title con- uh, challenge, you know. Yeah, and last thing for me, what do you think you have to do to beat Tiago on Saturday? Just uh, be myself, man. Be focused all the time, and uh, you know, and nice sleep a second. And do what I did in training. Um, not playing around with these guys, and keep the pressure on him, and uh, you know, finish this fight. You know. Thanks, man. Our next question is from Gabriel Gonzalez with Pink Side Press. Hey, Glover, can you talk about how it helped having that extra time to prepare for Tiago? I mean, do you work on more strategy? Do you just drill some more? What do you do when you get that extra few weeks? Well, you know, uh, drill. We, uh, you know, get close to a fight. Uh, the first time, you know, I got tested it was uh, right a week before the fight. So we have to step back, take a couple of days off, uh, relax. And get back in the camp drilling. Um, my weight is down, so uh, I look at the positive uh, side of the of the thing. So it was a delayed uh, uh, fight. It was a long camp, but I make the best out of it. Without giving too much away, we know he's obviously coming off those big injuries and the layoff for his legs, for his knees. Is it safe to say that? Some leg kicks are going to be part of your strategy during your during the fight. Everything uh, is possible, man. You know, I train everything. You know, uh, um, you know, I just got to keep the pressure on him. And um, for me, it's like it's not much to give. Everybody knows it with the style. You know, I go for the ground. I go for my wrestling. I go for my uh, striking, and uh, the kick is there. Definitely going to kick. It's in about, um, no, I did not make a strategy going for his knee uh, because I think it's, this is the, the, the weak thing. Um, I feel like it's a, it's a different, uh, I, to be honest, I don't think the, the knee is going to affect him too much. Nowadays, um, with the, 
knowing Tiago a little bit, I know he's focused, he's did the physiotherapy the right way, and he's going to be 100 my final question, everyone talking about, you know, Arasanya and Jan and when it might be. How would you feel about possibly being a backup? Do you feel like that would be something you'd be interested in if they say, hey, come to Abu Dhabi or somewhere and weigh in just in case? Why not? You know, uh, they pay me, I'll, I'll go over there, man, make that weight for sure. Um, you know, uh, but like, uh, to be honest, like... Uh, you know, I'm not worried about it too much right now. I'm just uh, focused on Thiago and um, getting out of this fight. And uh, who knows what uh, happened next. You know? Thank you, Glover. We'll take our next question from Dean Martin with MMA Fighting. Hey, Glover, uh, this run you've been on recently, four-fight win streak, really looking better than ever. You know, is it, it kind of give me the idea, like, what's been the motivation? You're a guy who's been a top five, top ten fighter your entire UFC career, but it seems like you've never lost that motivation where you do see some guys and some girls, you know, they fight for the title, they never quite get back there again, they never quite, you know, attain that. Here you are now, one win away, potentially from a title shot again. Yeah, man, uh... You know, just keep the dream going, keep, uh, never give up. And, uh, you know, me, I, um, uh, the kind of guy that, you know, been ups and down, but I'm always there and, uh, trying to, uh, reach my dream. That's, uh, the goal, uh, is to get that title. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, just uh, never give up and trying to get better every time. Learn with the mistakes. And obviously, you're fighting Tiago Santos. You got the new champion in Jan Blahovich, who you know, Dominic Reyes is out there. Obviously, John Jones is gone from the division, at least for now. What are your thoughts on kind of the lay of the land at light heavyweight right now? Like, what are your thoughts on Jan? And, and, and what are your thoughts on like where we sit in the light heavyweight division right now? Um, uh, you know, I think Jan uh, uh, he improved a lot in the last uh, couple of years, man. He's like a. Uh... He's a uh, he's he's did amazing fight. Uh, I love the the style that he fight. I think it's a good matchup for me. Um, I was ruined for him against Reyes, but I thought I, I mean ruined for him. But I thought it's gonna be a difficult fight for him, and I thought Reyes was gonna win. That was before the fight. That was before I watched the first minutes the minutes of the fight, and then I uh, I watched the first minute of that fight, and I was like, Lukovic is gonna be. The and and with Tiago, you got a guy who, you know, we kind of know him as a power striker, kind of a knockout artist. But, you know, he did manage to, you know, make it five rounds with, with a guy like John Jones that went to a split decision with him. What do you expect out of Tiago? Are you kind of looking for that, you know, him swinging big, you know, heavy punches, kind of going for the knockout? Or, you know, what do you expect out of him? Uh, no doubt he's going to he's gonna be explosive. He's going to throw a shot explosive. He's got to be smart about that. Uh, we train a lot uh, and those stuff. Um, those leg kicks, those kicks is the most dangerous that we have. And, uh, you know, he's an explosive guy, but uh, it's all it is is my experience and uh, my push. And, uh, you know, I'm also uh, got the knockout power. So if he's open up, I'll get him. And last thing, Glover, you mentioned, you know, you can't really control what the UFC is going to do in terms of the title shot, and your focus is Tiago. But is there any, I want to say frustration or maybe disappointment that the whole Adesanya thing came out, you know, four days ago, five days ago, as opposed to maybe after this fight? Because, again, if you go out there and you get a big knockout, you know, people are probably going to be calling for you to get that title shot uh, versus now we got kind of this distraction of the whole lot of Sonya thing. Like, is it disappointing that came out before your fight versus maybe making that decision afterwards? Uh, not yet. Not yet. I'm not disappointed yet. It didn't happen yet, you know. Um, everything's possible. Uh, we see after this fight, um, we go over there and uh, make some noise, you know. But I never really... Uh, Talk too much shit, but if I have to do a little bit to promote this fight and uh, take Alessandra out of there and uh, get the title fight, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, um, get it back uh, uh, in the 185 degrees. Thank you, Glover. We'll take our next question from Patrick Brokowski with TVP Sport. Oh, Glover, can you hear me? 
Uh, Hi. Uh, yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Glover, uh, I'd like to ask. Uh, we have a few uh, fighters in the UFC right now uh, who are making this, uh, who are thriving at the late stage of, the, of their careers. Uh, we have you. We have uh, Jan Bohovic who won the title at age uh, 37. Uh, we have uh, Overeem in heavyweight. Uh, what's the part? What's the key uh, of your success to thrive uh, at this uh, stage of your career? Uh, I think the focus, man. People have been more focused now. Um, um, and been, uh, you know, just listening. And uh, guys that wanted to be uh, the champion and guys that really um, wanted to be in the sport and uh, got to give all the way. The sport is growing. The sport is getting better and better all the time. So um, reality is like uh, more focus. This is the thing. I think... Um, Focus, never give up, and uh, you keep training, you keep believing. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the shape of the light heavyweight division right now? Uh, when John uh, moved up and we are talking about uh, uh, easy coming, uh, coming up, uh, is it more interesting right now? Or was it uh, better or gain more attention when John was a dominant champion? You know, I think uh, it's more interesting right now. You know, John Jones is moving to heavyweight. Uh, you know, and Blokovic just won the title. He's a new guy in uh, Horizon, and you know, and uh, just new guys to to look at. You know, uh, looking for John Jones for so many years, and now uh, he's a different guy. Okay, and the last question uh, from me. Uh, just hypothetically, if Izzy uh, really moves up to to light heavyweight. Uh, how do you think he will uh, uh, w compete? Uh, because we have few guys uh, like uh, Tiago Santos, like Antonio Smith from uh, from middleweight, who who are thriving uh, in the the bigger division. But on the other hand, we also have uh, former champions uh, like Weidman, Rockhold, who uh, who wasn't who weren't uh, big enough or strong enough to uh, to have success. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, Izzy is, is definitely a, a very good fighter. I moved a lot, and uh, but you know, a heavyweight division, you gotta fight. I mean, like heavyweight division, you gotta fight a bunch of people. You know, power is definitely different. You know, but he fought powerful guy, but uh, we'll see what happens. You know, I, I think um, I think if he fights Bukovic, he's gonna lose. Okay, thank you very much and good luck uh, on Saturday. We'll take our last set of questions from Luis Fernando Coutinho with Canal Encarado. Oi, tudo bem? Tudo. Então, Globo, eu sei que você já respondeu algumas coisas em inglês, mas eu preciso ouvir suas respostas em português também, público brasileiro. Primeiro, eu queria saber do, do teu encontro com o Marreta, né? A gente viu um vídeo que circulou na internet, o seu encontro estava pegando o sol ali. E foi muito interessante que, ao mesmo tempo que você falou da luta, né, que acha que um dos dois vai cair, a luta não chega no quinto round, foi uma troca de respeito muito legal. Fala um pouquinho desse, desse encontro. E você gosta de ser tratado, ser reconhecido pelo público como um exemplo de cara que, que é respeitoso, mas não necessariamente quer dizer que você vai pegar leve na luta? É, todo mundo sabe como que eu luto. é Respeito, isso é parte da disciplina de arte marcial. Eu estava falando com ele que alguns repórteres distorcem as nossas mensagens, cara. É, eu acho que eu li uma coisa que eu nem estou lembrado agora, mas que eu não falei, não tem nada a ver o que eu falei. Eles botam no, no, no topo lá para vender, você entendeu? Mas é, eu, Marreta, conheço eles, entendeu? Não preciso de, de ficar aqui promovendo a luta. E eu só estava falando com ele que, às vezes, é, é, com certeza, eu acredito que um, um vai cair. E, e, é, espero que ele, acredito que ele... Mas, assim, isso é, isso é uma coisa que é normal. Ele, com certeza, está acreditando que, que vai conseguir me vencer. Isso é normal para qualquer lutador. Mas é, teve uma coisa que eu li aí, eu não estou lembrado agora, mas uma, umas, umas coisas que é distorcida pelos jornalistas. Eu acho que, talvez, principalmente pelos jornalistas brasileiros, não sei. É, pelo menos é o que eu mais vejo, né? Talvez é porque eu leio mais as notícias é, em português, mas... Pô, isso é muito chato, porque você não fala uma coisa, 
cara tem um gravador aí e, e fala uma coisa totalmente diferente. Simplesmente isso que eu tava falando. E, Glover, por que, que você acha que, que essa luta não, não chega no quinto round? Analisando o casamento do estilo dos dois, como é que você, você vê essa luta acontecendo? Ah, você vê pelo estilo de luta. Estilo de luta do Marreto, meu estilo de luta. É, dois caras que buscam a finalização. A finalização que eu falo é... Eu tirar dali, né? O nocaute, o TKO, o, 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 o finalização mesmo, para sair. Eu tirar logo dali e não deixar nas mãos do juiz. E, Globo, eu queria saber qual foi a tua reação quando você viu o Dana White anunciando né, que o Adesanya vai enfrentar o Blahovic na próxima disputa de cinturão. Qual foi a tua reação? Você acha justo? O que você achou disso? Estou focado nessa luta. É, acho que isso foi... Eu vi isso, acho que foi, sei lá, acho que foi dois, dois, três dias atrás. Mas eu já estava muito focado nessa luta e vou continuar focado e não, vou, e não preocupo nisso, que é uma coisa que não está no meu controle. O Marreta disse que, dependendo do que acontecer nessa luta, o Dana White pode mudar de ideia. Você concorda que, vencendo de uma forma expressiva, o Dana White esquece essa ideia de adesão nos bem pesados? Sempre. Tudo pode acontecer, claro. E, quando você, e levando em consideração as características físicas do Adesanya, que você já viu dele como lutador, como é que você acha que ele se sai na divisão de vocês? Ah, cara, eu acho que é, é, pelo poder, pelo que eu vi o Blankovic lutando aí, eu acredito que ele, ele pode ser nocauteado. Sim. Eu acho que ele vai perder essa luta. Lutar o Blankovic. Mas até porque que ele não, não entra, não, não faz entrada de quedas ou nada, vai querer fazer o strike com ele. Mas o Adesanya, com certeza, é um, um lutador top, um lutador muito inteligente, e vai ser uma luta dura. E, por último, eu queria te pedir que você deixasse sua mensagem para o público brasileiro, né? não sei se você já notou isso, mas sua luta contra o Marreta é uma luta que está atraindo muitas atenções do público brasileiro, porque são dois caras muito queridos pelo público. Então, qual que é a mensagem que você deixa para a galera? É isso aí, galera. A gente respeita um ao outro. Eu conheço o Marreta, eu até falei com ele há um tempo atrás, quando ele passou para a categoria meio pesado, estava lutando na categoria 8-4 ainda. Eu... É, motivando, né? Onde ele vai ser um grande lutador. E realmente ele foi, lutou com o João Jones, mas essa luta vai ser uma batalha, vai ser uma guerra. E. Espero eu sair com a, com a vitória aí. Estou muito bem treinado para isso e muito confiante. Valeu, Globo. Obrigado.